Um, I've been on the phone to McNeese. Oh, yeah, and? They're not going to budge on the delivery date. But I explained to them that we had a run on that fabric because of our other orders and that... Please tell me you didn't tell them who the other orders were for. No, of course not. But they guessed. So now they know which markets have had stopped. Well, I'll go back. I'll explain it to them. Oh, yeah, they eat people like you for breakfast. <sighs> That's not fair. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, look, we cannot afford to make stupid mistakes. You're not at college now, Alia. This is real life. This is business. Okay. Which, quite honestly, I'm really not sure you're up to. Well, Aiden thought I was. Do you know your trouble? You've never, ever had to go hungry. OK, and mistakes don't matter to people who don't have to suffer the consequences, do they? Maybe that's a lesson that you need to learn. All right, so what are you trying to say? That you're going to dock my wages because I got something wrong? You've made plenty of mistakes. Don't you use that tone with me. You are spoiled, Alia, and you are arrogant. Oh, well, I've never particularly liked you either. All the way that you run this place. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You know, at least Aiden understood that it was about more than balance sheets. He never would have talked to me like this. Who the hell do you think you are? I am your boss. Well, more's the pity. Yeah, well, if you can't hack it, maybe you ought to think twice about working here. Do you know what? Yeah, you're right. I quit. You know, if Aiden could see the way you've behaved, he would be so ashamed. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out!